Hello there, in this video we're going to be proving that this particular function here, this equation, only has one solution, that x equals zero, that x has to be zero. So it might be obvious just to say, oh, well, if x can only be zero in order for this to be true. But to prove it, we're going to be using Rolle's theorem. And, and to do this, the first step we need to do is take the derivative of this function, which would be, let's say, so it's gonna be the derivative of f of x, that will be nine x, add 7x, add 5x, add 3x, and add 1. This is going to be the derivative of that function. So basically, Rolle's theorem says that, let's say we had f of some number a, if f of, if, if f of that number was also equal to f of some other number, let's say b, so if we had, let's say this was a 2, or the a was a 2, and b was a 3, if they, if they gave the same y value, then there must be some value, the um, c, that's going to be in between. That's, that's going to be basically the derivative of some value c is going to be equal to 0. Or, in other words, the derivative of the function must be able to equal 0 in order for this, this to be true, in order for there to be the possibility of another x. Because, mind you, uh, in order for this, if this were true, then there would be at least two x values or x uh, solutions to this problem. So if that is to be the case, then there must be the, the derivative of this function right up here has to have the ability to equal zero, according to Rolle's theorem. If I were to graph this out just to illustrate a bit more about Rolle's theorem, let's say we had a function that looked like, looked like this. And we had two x points, like two x solutions right here and right over here. If this were true, if these if the, these two x values or the y values of them were equivalent, then the, the derivative of the function, the tangent line, has to has to have a slope of zero. And whenever you find the derivative of the function, you're finding the slope of the tangent line where it just touches around the this point right there. So that's that's basically what I'm doing. We're trying to prove that the tangent line has to have a slope of zero, or actually has one. But as you can see from the derivative of the function it's always going to be, well actually I did this a bit wrong, um, I forgot to shove in the exponents, notice that up right here this should be an 8, the 7 should be a 6, this one here would be a 4, 3 would be a 2, and so forth. So uh, looking at the derivative of the function here, we can see it's always going to be above above 0 because all of these exponents, notice they're even, so any x values you're putting in are always going to be positive, and you have a positive 1 right here. So they're always greater than zero, which means you cannot satisfy Rolle's theorem, saying, or proving in this, in this regard, that there is only one solution to f of x, the original function, and that's when x is going to be equal to zero. That's the only possible way. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below or PM me. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day.